I'm Tim Carter, AskTheBuilder.com, and I'm here at the job site, and they're still working. Kind of late in the day, they're starting to put the roof on. And remember, this is not my job. If you discover something new, consider clicking that thanks button underneath the video. That allows me to make more videos faster for you when I'm in town. And guess what? You can tell the weather's changed, right? Yeah, I told you this was going to happen. I told you it was going to get cold. And we had snow just 36 hours ago. Let's take a look at what's going on. What you can see is the house has got the orangish zip sheathing on it. That seems to be the industry standard now. And I know it might be hard to see in the video, but they have taped all the seams. That's what they're supposed to do. The contractors have put on and this is a good thing. They put on two rows of the black gray Sison water shield. Uh, and you can see that they're putting on the shingles now. They're black. They're using an air nailer. You can hear it go on. It's like a machine gun. Here it goes. Listen. It can go pretty quickly using a nail gun. No doubt about that. But if you don't have the pressure set right, you could have all kinds of problems. You could blow the nail through the shingle. And it's especially problematic now with this cool and as cold as it is. Temperature right now, it's about 35 degrees, maybe 34 degrees here in New Hampshire right now. And the date, November 17th. Um, all I wanted to really talk about was, so this is the industry standard. This zip sheathing, it's OSB board that has got a plastic coating on it. So for the most part, it's water, I'm gonna say water resistant. They may like to say that it's waterproof, but the um, the point is is that it it isn't the perfect solution. If you want the perfect solution and you don't want leaks uh, in in places where you have a lot of wind-driven rain, or like here in New Hampshire where we would get uh, ice dams, you want to put gray ice and water shield down, and you really want to put it over the entire roof. I doubt they're going to put it over the entire roof here. They will most likely continue it up the side here where the dormer touches the roof or where the roof touches the dormer. Uh, it's a little too far down the roof. They're, they're, they're not up high enough yet where we could see them do that. We'll try to catch that tomorrow. But anyway, I just wanted to let you know that um, the roof's going on. Uh, these are go-getters, man. The sun's going to set here in just a few minutes. It'll be dark here in about 35 minutes but these guys are really doing their best to try to get the uh, the job done. I do want to show you something that's not OSHA approved. <laughs> if you haven't already picked up on this in the video. All right, so this is a machine. Uh, it's called a lull, and bricklayers typically use it. But I don't know if you can see this. They put a pallet on the forks, and then they extended a pick over to the pallet to be able to walk on. Um, Absolutely not the uh, safest thing to do, all right, you know. Uh, and the reason why they did that is because there was no way to keep the ladder off of, um, to keep, there, there was nothing to put the ladder against here except that post. Uh, so, but it's still not, I, I'm sure if OSHA came along, they would not be happy. <laughs> and I mean, you know, those guys gotta be careful working on it. I, I hope they've got a good, uh, I hope their workman's comp is paid up to date. All right, that's about all I can show you in this video today. Uh, I'm not able to do videos so much during the day because they're still working here until just about dark. So I'm just going to be able to do them on the weekends. Well, that's the roof going on. At this rate, they've, they've got really good weather forecast for the next four or five days. Uh, tomorrow's Friday. Uh, they may get this side done today. I'm sorry, tomorrow. And... Then, I don't know how far, they'll. I don't know if they're going to work on the weekend. They haven't been working on the weekends. But by Thanksgiving, this house should be under roof. So, next up would be the windows and doors to make it weather tight. So, all right. Hope you discovered something new. What you should have discovered, gray ice and water shield is really a product you need to have underneath your shingles if you live in a place that gets lots of snow and ice like New Hampshire. And it should go over the entire roof. So, all right.
I'm Tim Carter. This has been Ask the Builder. If you discovered something new, go ahead and click that thanks button underneath the video. And don't forget, I also do phone coaching. If you need help on one of your jobs, and I had an emergency just a few days ago. A woman here in Meredith called me frantically, and I met her at a job site just 35 minutes later. So if you need me to come to your job site, I will. If you live a long way away, I'll still come. It's just going to cost you a little money. All right, I'm Tim Carter, AskTheBuilder.com, in my nice black hat. If you want to discover more home improvement tips, go to AskTheBuilder.com.